All of us have insatiable longings that can only be satisfied in communion with our Heavenly Father. The longing to be enjoyed, fascinated, to gaze upon beauty, and to be someone great are driving forces within each of us. The longing to experience intimacy without shame, to be wholehearted, and to make a deep and lasting impact resound within each of us at the foundation of who we are. God created these longings, knowing that they can only be fully satisfied in Him, that they would be avenues to deeper relationship with Him. As we look at each of these longings individually this week, I pray your heart would find its fulfillment in the loving nearness of your Heavenly Father. Welcome to the First 15 Podcast. scripture for today comes from Isaiah 62, verse 5. Scripture says, As a bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so your God will rejoice over you. The human race has no greater driving force than the longing to be enjoyed. Most of us have spent our entire lives working to be enjoyed by others. We'll go to whatever length necessary to prove ourselves worthy of being liked or loved. Some work tirelessly at a talent or skill, hoping to impress with their abilities. Some devote countless hours to their appearance, hoping the way they look will attract others and satisfy their longing to be enjoyed. Some hope that money and possessions will cause people to like them or to want to spend time with them. Regardless of how we seek to be enjoyed, if we're honest, we will discover this longing is a driving force in all of us. Think back on your life. Think back on yesterday. What did you do so that people would like you, so that people would enjoy you? I could name lots of ways I strive for people's affection or adoration on a daily basis. I long with everything in me to be enjoyed. I cringe at the thought of feeling cast out, loved by too few or none, unenjoyable. You see, we can't help our need to be enjoyed because God created each of us with longings that match avenues He created to lead us back to His presence. Our Father created all of us with a longing to be enjoyed by Him, the Creator of all things, the only one who knows everything about you, longs for you to know that He deeply enjoys you. You, just being fully you, are loved. You, with all your failures, victories, sins, and quirks, are enjoyable to God. God made you the way He did for a reason. He enjoys talking with you and watching you work. He longs for you to live the life He's laid out for you and experience the fullness of joy He has richly provided you. Of course, He hates when we sin. He can't possibly enjoy something we're doing that's harmful to us and others. But even in our failure, God pursues us. Even in rebellion, God longs for us to turn our hearts towards Him so that He can run out to meet us and clothe us with grace. Out of His unconditional love, He wants to throw a celebration 
in honor of restored relationship with you. Seek fulfillment for your longing to be enjoyed in the arms of your loving Father. See Him as your Father running out to meet you that you might be fully enjoyed by Him. Let His love sink into the depths of your heart that your longing to be enjoyed may be fully satisfied in Him. May your time in guided prayer be marked by the joy your Father has over you. As we begin, open your Bible to Luke chapter 15, verses 11 through 32, and meditate on the story of the prodigal son. Put yourself in the story and place your perception of God in the character of the Father. Ask the Spirit to help you see yourself in the story, to believe God's word about yourself. And next, ask the Spirit to show you how God feels about you right now. Ask Him to show you how God the Father rushes toward you and longs to wrap you up in His arms. Zephaniah 3 verse 17 says, The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by His love. He will exult over you with loud singing. And last, receive the enjoyment of your heavenly Father. Rest in the love of God and let it fill up the depths of your heart. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. When you feel the urge to do something to gain the approval of man today, stop and receive God's enjoyment again. 
Doing life out of a place of already being enjoyed is the only way to live emotionally fulfilled. You have an abundantly full reservoir of love available to you at any time. God is always pleased to show you how much He loves you if you will simply turn your heart toward Him and receive. May your day today be marked by the limitless love of your Heavenly Father. Thanks so much for listening to today's podcast. I'm Josh Miller with First 15. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the podcast so you won't miss a single opportunity for God to satisfy the longings of your heart this week. Tomorrow, we're going to take a look at our longing for fascination. You don't wanna miss it. Have a wonderful rest of your day and may God bless you as you seek Him. Ever feel like the true heart of Advent gets lost in the holiday shuffle? Between shopping lists and endless to-dos, it's easy to miss the deeper meaning of the season. But what if Advent could be more than a countdown? What if it was a chance to rediscover the wonder of Christmas? We invite you to slow down and connect with the miracle of Advent in a fresh, meaningful way this year through two new resources. First, The Perfect Christmas by Janet Dennison is a 25-day devotional designed to help you pause and reflect as you rediscover the nativity story. Each day offers fresh insight and reflections that bring the familiar story of Jesus' birth to life to help you connect with him on a deeper level. And for the kids in your life, we're also sharing Jesus, the light of the world, an interactive Advent devotional and art journal that's all about making Jesus' story accessible and fun. These resources are an invitation to unwrap something different this Christmas, and we'd love for you to experience them as our gift to thank you for your donation of $30 or more. Visit supportfirst15.org to get your Advent devotional bundle today. And through your generosity, you'll help more people connect with the God of Christmas every day of the year. So thank you for giving generously.